Thanks for joining us today again on yet another episode of A Little Stound with Miss B. You know how we do it. We talk about sounds of English language. We talk about pronunciation of words, the meanings, sentence examples, and so much more. All right. So for the past weeks, I have been on a particular topic, which is homophones and this topic has really taken our time we have talked about homophones alphabetically we have talked about homophones based on sounds i will continue from where i stopped i talked about homophones based on sounds so today i will be wrapping it up with the remaining sounds i'm going to teach today so that by next week we start over with a brand new topic so the sounds we'll be looking into today are different sounds if you can still remember when we talked about different things yes i've talked about different things some months ago and we said that different things is the combination of two vowel sounds when we have two vowels coming together <laughs> okay all right so the first sound i will be looking into today is the a sound i've also talked about this particular sound before so we have number one to be able able okay this able is a b l e like when you say god is able okay that's able all right and then i can as well pronounce another word that some way which is able so when you say able here most people may not really know what i'm talking about okay the word most people pronounce as abel can and abel remember in the bible <laughs> okay so you don't say abel you rather say abel so it's cain and abel all right all right so let's talk about number two the number two word i have here is eight he ate the food alone eight then i have another one to be eight again but this one is a number number eight mm? so that's eight because i'm sure you know this okay let's talk about another word which is bait 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 okay and then i have another bait which is b-a-t-e you should find out the meaning of that word <laughs> all right let's talk about a different word another word i have here is number five to be great god is great okay he's a great god okay and then i have another great that is g-r-a-t-e great okay let me say this if i want to say grateful i am grateful to god you don't spell it as g-r-e-a-t-f-u-l no use the spelling of g r a t e f u l that's what you say grateful okay so don't spell grateful from great like great g r e a t no spell it from the g r a t e okay all right having said that i will also talk about the last one which is praise i want to praise god all my life praise because there's another praise that is p r e y s all right the praise okay Let's talk about another sound, which is the I sound. The I sound has word examples like die. It's not a do or die affair. Die. So the die, of course, everybody knows the spelling of this one. You have D-I-E. And of course, I have another die. Okay. I'm sure you know this one. For example, if you want to change the color of your hair, you use die. All right. All right. And then I talk about another one to be tire tire okay this tire is spelled as t-i-r-e that's tire oh no we have another t-y-r-e that's also pronounced as tire okay all right so let's talk about another one which is find i can't find it fine and then i have another find as past tense of fine for instance you have done something very wrong and you are going to be punished for it you're going to pay some money that you'll be fined all right let's talk about another one which is the last one actually i'm going to take on that wine wine everybody knows what that is mm -hmm. and then i have another wine as a homophone please stop whining you're talking too much all right let's talk about our sound which is another different sound i have word examples like loud loud and have another loud which is a l o u d as a homophone that's another loud okay i have another one which will be flower flower and then i have another one which is flower again unfortunately most people pronounce this one as flower 
Okay, the W that please my darling is not pronounced as woo. So don't say flower. You say flower. And then I have another one to be R. Ah, R. Ah, that's O U R. And the homophone is R again, which is H O U R in the next one R. Okay. And the last, last sound I'm going to give you today is the O sound. I have words like mode. Mode is spelled as M O D E. And then I have another mode to be M O W E D as a homophone. Okay. All right. Let me quickly tell you another word. Here we have rose. Okay. And he bought me a bunch of rose flowers. That's a bouquet. Right. So say rose. You don't say rose. Say rose. And I have another rose which is R O W S. The S there is pronounced as. So you say rose as a homophone again okay so we have another one to be road road which road are you taking road and i have another road which is a homophone r-o-d-e the past tense of ride mm. and so that is it for today i hope you have learned a lot a lot and a lot i can go on and on and give you all the homophones we have but of course you know i can't give you all of it so you got to find out yourself okay and that will be the end of it for today but i won't be giving you assignment like today because i want to wrap up this particular homophone topic entirely so i won't come back to it okay so for next week i want you to stay tuned so you will learn another episode of a little stand with miss bay is going to be mind-blowing okay so i will be leaving you with this food for thoughts of mine so the court says sometimes the more you are afraid of a situation and fear you can't face it the worse you make it the more you're afraid of a situation and you feel you can't face it the worse you make it so whatever situation you are facing today you have to understand that you shouldn't be afraid of it okay whatever situation you feel you can't face today just know that you shouldn't be afraid of it so you don't make it worse all right and with that i'll be saying a very big thank you to all of you for listening to me today it's a very nice time out with you and because i am so so thankful to everyone who participated on the last challenge i am so grateful and i say thank you for your participation unfortunately no one won the prize <laughs> i am sorry and don't forget you can connect with me on my social media handles aj misby right and i was saying thank you and stay out of trouble until next week bye for now i love you